Hello everyone and welcome back to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your pal Larry and uh, today we're going to share some sad news. Everyone's favorite music bot, or at least one of their favorite music bots, Groovy, is going to have to close their doors for good. Because, well, as it turns out, uh, what they do when they play music from places like YouTube isn't exactly kosher with the terms of service for using the YouTube API in order to play videos on other platforms. So if you go on to like any search engine and you type in GroovyBot, all of the news right now is talking about the fact that YouTube has killed GroovyBot. And they're all kind of following the same type of information, which is YouTube sent a cease and desist letter, well, Google, slash YouTube sent a cease and desist letter to the creator of GroovyBot. It's made by one guy. And they're telling them to shut down because they break the terms of service of using the YouTube API in order to play music on Discord. And this could potentially affect every single bot on Discord that plays music because most of them get the vast majority of their music off of YouTube. So what's the problem here? Well, the main issue when you look into it, is that these bots all strip out the video and play just the sound onto Discord, which is against the rules, because it's stripping out the advertisements that YouTube needs in order to make money to keep paying for their servers. And I can obviously see where this is an issue, because these programs play thousands, if not millions, of songs every day and they don't end up making any revenue for YouTube, who are the ones storing everything on their servers, paying for the bandwidth required to play these songs. And obviously it comes down to these bots are playing music for free from a service that is paid for by ads. And that and some of them are even have premium features like Groovy does, I think RhythmBot does, and several others do. So they're making money without paying it forward to the company paying the freight, basically. So that means that at the end of August, August 30th, somewhere therein, GroovyBot is going to shut down. They're not going to try to fight this. They're not going to try to find some wiggle room. It's run by one guy, and it sounds like he's kind of tired of maintaining the bot. It got bigger than he anticipated, and it all started out as just a project where he wanted to make a bot better than the the one that his friend was using that kind of sucked. So I can understand it. And GroovyBot used to have a lot of really cool features. I mean, it was like every other bot. You could play music from YouTube, from Spotify, from SoundCloud. But it also had some other features that you could pay for as well. Like if we go to the premium stuff, you could control the volume. You could add audio effects. You could have it playing 24-7 in a channel. All these great things, but obviously this broke YouTube's terms of service, and they were also charging for it to pay for the upkeep, and this was all just not kosher at the end of the day. So for now, the only bot that's going down officially is GroovyBot. It's unknown whether or not it's been there's been any other takedown, cease and desist letters given out to any other bots. And RhythmBot, the people that make RhythmBot, have already said that they're not going to be taking down their bot. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the alternatives that you have if you want to run a different music bot on your server because you used to use Groovy. So the original big crazy bot that you could get was RhythmBot, and this one's still available. My qualms with RhythmBot is that it's very popular, it has even more users than GroovyBot does, and it goes down sometimes. Like, the uptime on this bot is not quite as good as Groovy. Sometimes it crashes, sometimes it gets overwhelmed, and sometimes the quality, for whatever reason, people have been complaining in the comments of the tutorial I made, but sometimes the quality isn't as good, but it's usually fine 99% of the time. Now, music bots are not uncommon. You can actually figure out that a lot of the most popular moderation bots that also have some other utilities have a music feature in them, including the bot Me6. So Me6 is great because it does auto moderation. It gives you some other fun tools that you can use. All of that stuff, it can auto message people. 
all of those things. But the other things that it can do is it actually does play music and it does a lot of the same basic features as GroovyBot and RhythmBot. So you don't actually need a dedicated music specific bot if you want to play music. Likewise, another bot that I've been playing around with, ProBot, and this bot is very similar to Me6, but it provides some game functionality. You can self assign emojis to different users by clicking on a button to give roles and stuff like that. And it also has a music player built into it. So if you use ProBot, you've already got a music player. You don't have to worry about it. After that, there's also the 24 7 music bot, which provides different music, unlimited video length, all these different things. This is another free bot. There is BMO themed after the BMO character from Adventure Time, the little game controller robot. And this one gives you some fun games, some both safe for work and not safe for work jokes, memes, and images. You can do image manipulation through commands. And it also provides music. So this is another option. It's got some fun stuff that you can play around with on your server. I, of course, have showcased Rayong before. This is a guy that popped into my server who's been producing his own music bot for a while now. This one has the whole host of different features like lag free music plays from YouTube, SoundCloud and Spotify that you can translate the descriptions of different videos. It has a whole list of different crazy features that you can use. Then we have Jockey. I have not personally used Jockey, but when I looked up some options for music bots, this one was pretty good. It supports basically music from literally everyone from Apple Music to direct server support to Vimeo, Bandcamp, Mixcloud, whatever. Jockey's got you covered. And it looks like it has a whole host of other features. I'll probably do a tutorial on how to set up and use this bot pretty soon. Then, of course, I, I mentioned ProBot. We also have Amy, which is another bot that offers you utilities, moderation, games, fun, just dirt been around commands, levels, and more. But it also has a music bot. So this one might be for you. This is more anime themed from what it looks like. And then, of course, I've also showcased before Aerospot. Aerospot's a really old utility bot, but it's kind of lost some features. But its music player still works just fine. Then there's Fredboat, which is just a free music bot. High quality music. No frills, no thrills. Just plays music, plays playlists. You can play it from Twitch, Vimeo, Bandcamp, SoundCloud, YouTube, what have you. These are all options. So if you're looking for some great bots, there's definitely a bunch of them. And of course, if you're looking for the big list of all of the bots, there's a place called top.gg. And this is where you can find a huge list of all of the different bots that you could ever want in a nice list. They're all categorized. You can even click on music and see a big selection of all of the bots that have some kind of music related feature. So if you're looking for one and can't seem to find one that fits you and your server community, just pop into here, search for a bot, and I'm sure you'll be able to find something that fits your needs. So it sucks that we're going to be losing GroovyBot and potentially some of the other big music bots, because obviously this is a problem that is inherent in all of them, which is why GroovyBot's getting taken down. It'll be interesting to see what happens with this in the future, but if you're looking for alternatives, here's a bunch of them. I will put links to them in the video description. And uh, yeah. So until next time, everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you found this video helpful. I'm just trying to make sure that people are aware, you know, Groovy's going to be going away. But there are still options that you can grab if you want to have a music bot in your server. They're all really good quality. So just keep an eye out. And uh, if this situation develops into something more, like other bots get taken down, Discord changes their policies. Uh, I will let you guys know in a future video update. So check these bots out and I'll catch you next time. Bye everybody.